Hey guys, it's Sarah Seidelman. I'm your friendly neighborhood pathologist turned shamanic mentor and author and coach too. And I just had a little story to share with you um, just to remind you that you have your own unique way of doing things and that's always the best way to go. Little story to illustrate that. So when I first started doing life coaching about 10 or 11 years ago, when I left medicine and started sort of launching my practice and growing that, it seemed to be the sort of standard thing to have a virtual assistant. And I had read about virtual assistants in um, Tim Ferriss's book, Four Hour Workweek, and it made so much sense. Like have somebody virtual who can handle like all the things that you know you can't handle, they can take that off your plate. And through the years, I have tried really hard to make that work for me. And for one reason or another, mostly because I am such a free bird, I like to sort of not do a lot of planning. I really don't love managing people or thinking of things for people to do. I'm not great at delegation either. Um, it's been sort of a torture for me over the years and I felt like guilty, like I'm some sort of failure because I just can't seem to make this work or I can't figure out how to work with a virtual assistant. And it's not that I don't know how to work with people who help me because for years, I mean, in pathology, we had all kinds of ancillary staff that were so helpful and it was fabulous. So I've always just been so worried about that. And last summer, man, it just came to a, a peak. I, I worked with another person, um, hired another person to help me with some things and just realized it was just not working. Once again, it was so painful and so difficult. And then one day, I came upon this video of Iris Apfel, who is a fashion a fashionista, I would say, a, kind of a style maven, who's in her 90s. And somebody interviewed her, and if you don't know who she is, Google her, because she is amazing and one of my favorite. Um, she's like a hero of mine. Anyway, she was being interviewed about how, to, how she works. And she said in the interview that she has never had a secretary, an assistant, or anybody who she handles all her own emails, she handles all her own press requests, she handles everything. And suddenly I had this insight. Like if Iris Apfel, who's like this global, I mean, you know, well known, been in so many things and been so busy, like sharing the most beautiful content in an amazing, amazing way and being of great service, did it all by, um, you know, she handled all that. I mean, I'm sure she's had help no doubt she's had help to do the things she's done, but she does not have somebody handling her email, having, handling her schedule. And that if she can do it, so can I. And I just felt this whoosh of relief. And since then, I just laugh. I'm like, I don't need to figure out how to have a VA or if that's something I need to figure out in the future, I will. But right now I can just be like Iris Apple and be my own secretary and it's working great. Um, what wasn't working great was the thought that I was a failure for not having a virtual assistant. <laughs> so if there's something you've been, you know, banging your head against the wall for, you know, just maybe look for, to see how maybe other people are doing it. And maybe there's somebody out there who's doing it the same way you are, but give yourself permission to do things the way that feel good to you. Not the way that everybody else seems to be doing it. Not the way your mother told you to would do it, but the way that feels best to you. So that's my little message for today and I hope you're all well and I'm sending you many blessings. Thanks for watching.